Hi, welcome back to the show. Welcome to the Fish and Corn Show. We're having a great morning here. And this is our new intern. Just like you to meet her. But anyways, um, we got to do the show. Here we are. Our new intern. <laughs> we wish. <laughs> Hello. Well, here you go. Um, that's just a photo of our new intern. Um, Mr. Corn, uh, what, what do you, um, geez, I had this topic in mind, but you know, I'll just, uh, our new intern is, uh, I'm excited for our new intern. Why do you keep calling her our new intern? She's Cause she's our new intern. intern. <laughs> uh, that woman makes me feel like a dirty old man. New intern. But anyways, brings to mind, share your interns with us. If you have a cute intern that does really well at her job, send in the pics. Or her. I mean, or him. Yeah, they, we could always use help here at the show. But anyways, I'd like to make an announcement. We're nearing our 50th episode. So we this is a sort of anniversary of sorts. So... Join in the celebration. We are probably, I mean, Mr. Corn here is uh, having some scotch. And uh, let's rate this one. We will turn this episode into our anniversary. We'll talk a little about of everything. We'll talk about liquor. Back again on the liquor. I know you guys like to hear about that. What is this one, by the way, uh, Mr. Corn? <clears throat> Monkey Shoulder Blended Malt Scotch Whiskey. I have no idea where this bottle no, was show it purchased. To, show it to our fans while you talk about Tell them. I have no idea where this bottle was purchased. It just ended up in our bar. I think my kid sister got it for me at some point. Uh, I don't know. It's actually pretty good, though. It's uh, not peaty. Uh, Let me ask you a question. Well. We'll turn this into what we like. Let me ask you, if you were to take on a deserted aisle, mm -hmm. deserted island, scotch, or gin. No, no, let's be, you have an order of booze on, uh, yet you choose from. You have bourbon, Canadian whiskey, vodka, tequila, and uh, gin scotch. Rate those as far as which you would you take first. First, like if you said you only have one, Mr. Corn, you have beer, but you can only take one hard alcohol. Bourbon. Second. Uh, uh, vodka. Third. Canadian whiskey. Over over tequila. Yeah. Are you bullshitting me? No, 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 no. Look, you consume more te tequila. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But see, tequila, unless it's a particular. Level of tequila. All right, they give you the they give you what you want as far as the tequila. Oh. Of all these alcohols, they give you what you want, but that's what you got to stick to. Okay, uh, probably the tequila ahead first. of first. No, no, no. no well, no. bourbon is in the still, still the first. bourbon first. If it's, especially if it's Pappy Van Winkle, I've never tried it. I want to try it. You've uh, heard of it, right? Yeah. Okay. So the, then vodka. Really? Well, yeah. You have to understand the good vodka. I've had good I mean, vodka. It, it can be, it can have so many other uses other than just getting drunk. Well, just say you don't need it for antiseptic reasons or anything like that. Okay, it's just for drinking. This is this, this is a drinking episode. Oh, bourbon, uh, tequila, Canadian whiskey. Tequila shot through the ranks. Yeah, it jumped two. Now that yeah. you had the the standard yeah. went up. Because I, I mean, it's just for drinking, right? It's not for cooking or you know. Doing other stuff with that liquid. It's just we're drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Bourbon, tequila. Bourbon, tequila, Canadian whiskey. And then gin's always... Gin's it's always going to be at the bottom. I can't stand gin. Okay. And, you know, it's, it's it's one of those drinks that I can't drink by itself. You know what I find about scotch? Gin is kind of like scotch. There's some that are just... The gamut runs wide. Yeah. So especially the, some of this fucking really high-end single malt scotch uh, that... I, it's just not for me, man. It's too too much peat, peat, and too much. Ah. Like gin could be too juniper. It's like very. If you have this like London dry gin, taste so much different from other kind of gins. Well, again, I'm not a gin guy, so I couldn't tell you. I've only had gin and gin and tonics, and 
I don't particularly care like, for them. Yeah, I don't like gin and tonics. Oh, it's just one of those liquors that I can pass on it. It's just like rye whiskey. I don't like rye whiskey. Either. Yeah, but it's, it seems to be the thing. But you know what? I will take gin and tonics, say, going back to uh, if they offered us free drinks at the Del Mar racetrack. Mm -hmm. You could have all your Coca-Cola you want, or you could have all the gin margaritas. and tonics you want. Gin and tonics, if they say. If they say no, I'll this, take margaritas. No, but if they to choose, you're taking soda with, or you're taking any alcohol over the soda, right? Yeah. I would, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of margaritas, me and the old lady got sauced yesterday on um, the pre-mixed uh, Kirkland. Kirkland. Uh, mixer? Uh, margarita mixer. Yeah. This is the one with or without the alcohol? The one with the alcohol. Oh, uh, yeah. It, yeah. I bought that for my put mom. It, put you know, put a bunch it of ice in it. Blenderize it and it comes out like a candy. A, oh god, it was a delicious, refreshing candy. And you can still taste the but alcohol. You could still taste a little bit of the alcohol because but it wasn't I, overwhelming. I think what's funny about me and Mary Margaritas, and I think uh, my mom is of the same. You have to have that kicker of the alcohol. Yeah, otherwise the heavier it's just, edge. Otherwise, it's just limey, sweet. Ice. Yeah, it's just nasty. You have to have that agave bite to it. You yeah. do. I've noticed that as a kid drinker, I guess I could say, you know, freshly 21 or 18, if you happen to have one. <laughs> More like 15. <laughs> yeah, you want these things to be like a Slurpee. Yeah, yeah. It, honestly, at what age did you start drinking? Where I enjoyed it, probably 32, believe it or not. Really? Beer, even alcohol, where I say, you know what? I really love bourbon. Like I could just drink that it in the breakfast time. Yeah, see my my time with liquor is much more involved. I started drinking when I was thirteen. But you see I drank earlier too, like eighteen, given that you know, San Diego's near Mexico, but that was just to get slosh, not buzzed. Yeah, well was, you weren't in, you, you weren't enjoying it. You were just getting drinking to get drunk. Now I didn't start drinking to when till the for the flavor of it till my twenties, late twenties. Really, because I met you post twenty one. Yeah, mid twenties. It was still it about was getting a, sauced. Then. It was still about getting sauced. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. I could care less about the flavor so long as it didn't make me wretch. And it didn't give you the shivers. Yeah, because yeah. I could still yeah. discern at an earlier age. I could still. Well, I ain't don't like gin that much. Bourbon, I kind of see where I can dig this, but I'm not digging it yet. I mean, come on, dude. Down the we, hatch. We drank our own wine. Remember those two fucking batches of wine we made those two years? The first batch was pretty good. good. I, we, I was, at that, when we made the wine, I was into that age of enjoying liquor where I could discern this wasn't uh, <clears throat> Opus One. <laughs> no. But uh, that first year was good. The second year's wine? Ugh. Too green. Yeah, but we still choked it down, dude. And why did we choke it down? To get a buzz. To get a buzz. And see if we could actually make hooch. Yeah. I think the next time we do that, though, I think we should take the bad wine and distill it down to a brandy. You know, I wanted to ask you a question because given this new... You guys know I'm at a new job. Given that I have this new job, whatever it might be, gives me some time where we could play with other business ideas. Should we get invest since our um, other project is on hiatus? Should we get a distill? Should we? Because I've seen some, you know, we don't make it because I don't have time. I got to get shit in order. But I have maybe a little bit of time and some money. Time to play around. <coughs> there are some. <laughs> Look it up. Amazon. Amazon distilleries. How, how much are we talking here? Oh, for a decent one to play mm -hmm. around with, like it's well made, anywhere from three fifty up. Really? How, what kind of output are we expecting from that? Oh, I think the one I told you, said, oh, believe it or not, I think it's like five gallons, dude. Five gallons? <laughs> Wait, wow. that's a no, lot. No, a hooch. gallon. It's, it, it's even like, a gallon is a lot of hooch. That's what I'm. Yeah, that it, that's enough to play around with. And on a small batch thing, if we. Somehow can make because I mean the, we we weren't getting that much wine out of the grapes anyway. We we don't need that much volume, but at four hundred bucks for playing around thing, yeah. That's and if fun. we, you know, down the road we could always buy more product. 
Yeah. Like grapes. But, you know, let me ask you a question. How do these local breweries, this is a legal thing, get into, because Ballast Point is now making hard liquor. They got a rum and bourbon. And they're, they're making, you know, they're not going to be, they're, they're fucking tweakers. You know, they're going to fucking, I heard it's fucking good. Yeah. But how did they get around a legality point? Can I ever, any Droshmo Californian make booze? Uh, that's hard. Well, you can make it. You just got to jump through the through the hoops to get licensed to sell it. It's the selling of the product. That's I the think issue. it's illegal to even to make it this still bourbon or, I mean, not bourbon, hard alcohol, mm. right? I have no idea. All I know is most of these regulations don't uh, go into your garage and check if you've got a distillery there just to make your own hooch. They only get involved when they need to collect money from you. That's like how every government works that way, okay? Mr. Korn, um, we're at 11 minutes. Can we make this a part two? Um, yeah. Stay in school. Pause out. <laughs>